Hi guys, Ace here. So for a while now I've been wanting to do a video on a flashlight conversion. And I would like to convert one of these cheap Chinese flashlights to a lithium 18650. And what comes in them are these blasted AAA cells. I don't like buying disposable batteries anymore. It's pretty much my rule. I just don't buy them anymore. It's either rechargeable or I don't buy it. So, how do we convert this to running that? Well, the voltage is actually a bit lower. Um, that's probably around you know, 5 volts or something like that. And, and they work. You know, I mean, it works if you don't mind buying, buying batteries. It works okay. Well, what if we put a 4.2 volt 18650 lithium cell in there. It doesn't fit, but we can fix that. So I found that the 18650 cell spacers we use in our uh, you know our power wall or you know, battery projects fit quite well inside the flashlight. You just have to round the, the corners a little bit, smooth them down, take the points off, and they actually slide in there quite well. I was pretty happy about that. So, it's a whole lot brighter too, and rechargeable. This is just a, a Samsung um, 16. It's not a cell that I would use and probably any, any um, I guess more just a, a small project like this. It comes out at 16 uh, milliamps. But uh, it'll work great for a flashlight, you know? The only downside about doing this is the voltage threshold that, you know, when you get below 2.99 volts, or say, you know, I think the data sheet on these says more like 2.5, something like that. When it gets down that low, you can damage the cell. Well, got so many of these, but still, you might as well just keep that one and keep it safe. So, I wanted to do a single cell BMS, if you can see that. And I was thinking, you know, we could just place it right here on the side, hot glue it or tape it or whatever, on the side there, and take advantage of the shutoff protection. Then, if your kid gets a hold of it and leaves it on and gets kicked underneath the couch, you can still recharge it and uh, you're, you're not out anything. So that's what I wanted to try to do today. Alright, so I drew this out a little bit to try to make this a little bit easier to see. So we have... This is battery positive. This is on the back side of the PCB of the BMS. And then over here we have battery negative, and we have P positive, and Q negative. So with our cell, I mean, you have four options. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out what goes where. Um, so we'll make this positive, that negative, I'm probably going to use nickel strips, I think, is what I want to do, because they lay nice and flat, and I, I think they'll look, they'll look better, rather than using some kind of wire. So, you know, we have our, our positive, and then our negative, and our positive negative coming off the PCB here, like so, would be to um, actually make contact with the flashlight. the positive portion and the negative portion. And I was probably going to isolate each each of those with just some probably um, some tape or something like that. And I'm guessing you probably charge off of these poles as well. Something like that. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can't make that and uh, 
See, see how it works? Okay. I got it attached. Looks all right. Um, so what we got to do next is we have to solder the other connections. And this is going to be kind of kind of interesting. I don't know how well this is going to play out. This might take me a couple of tries. So really, it'll have to go from the center over to the side, and then I was going to try to like fold it and then run it up the side. So this might take a couple of tries. We'll see how this goes. And what do I mean by fold it? Just that. I don't know if the length is right, I'm just kind of guessing. So I'm going to solder that one. See what we get. Lay it over just like that. That should work. And I'm just going to try to guess on the length. So I'm going to cut it right there. And I might as well have it on the same side. The nickel strip is, is just too wide for these small contacts. If I'm careful, I think I can make it work. Okay. What I'll do is I'll separate both of those with a piece of uh, piece of tape right in the middle there, and there there is some space, so I think we'll be all right. So let's lay that out. Got our positive negative going up and down there, and then our other pieces that will be separated. That actually might be close enough to actually work. So let's go ahead and separate those two before I get too too involved and forget. I'm going to separate those two contacts just like that. I think I'm just going to leave it. It'll work for me. Position that somewhat in the middle. Try to lay that tape down. Like so. And let's apply some more tape. Okay, so I just went ahead and soldered these nickel strips here on the end. And I just did it off camera. It took me a couple tries to actually get it to stick. But that'll lay across the top quite nicely. And that should give us almost our end product. So let's get a voltage reading on that and see if that little single cell actually works. Single cell BMS actually works. And we have voltage. 4.17 volts. Great. So let's add some more tape to this. Just to hold these uh, strips here on the side, I want to protect them too from the casing of the flashlight as well. So both ends are isolated and are replaced with these nickel strips. Now maybe I'll need to make them a little bit bigger and then actually have them come down the sides and then I could tape the sides. I think that'll probably be a better way to do it. But let's give this a try. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I scrapped those small pieces of nickel strip and I went with uh, this idea. I can fold these over and then pull them around the sides and then tape them off. And that will actually hold it down. So I'm going to do that. More tape.
And then I'm going to put a little piece of crossed up and down there just to make sure nothing is actually going to be exposed and for some un reason short out. Just like that. Looks a little rough, but it's it's well protected. You have to make sure you uh, mark you know your positive and your negative because at this point it's kind of hard to tell. So let's say you know I, I want to charge it. How do I charge it? So you get yourself so you get you know your your hobby charger, your knockoff IMAX or you know whatever you want to want to use, and your alligator clips, and you could clip to the edges of these tabs here and charge it through the BMS and the BMS will charge the cell and um, then you'll also have you know overcharge protection too from the BMS hopefully if it actually does that but uh, your hobby charger should do that as well so let's pop it back in And there it is. That worked really well. So I'm very happy with that. I'll give that to my daughter to play with. And we'll see if she can destroy it. I want you to end up in the toilet or something. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.